Hey Star Wars fans, it's Scott from Star Wars Adventures again. Happy May the 4th. If you couldn't tell, I'm actually driving. And what does one do on May the 4th? Go to Disneyland, of course. Yay! Disneyland! Sorry, that was the fake Disneyland. I live about 800 miles north of Disneyland, so I'm not going there today. But I'm going to the closest thing I can think of that's close to Disneyland or like Disneyland, the Disney Store. Now, Disney Store has exclusive Boba Fett merchandise and they open at 10, it's about 9.28, and I live about 40 minutes away from it, so just thought I'd do a quick update on my way and I'll film when I get there, so I'll see you there. So, hope you enjoyed that footage. I had a great time going to the Disney store and actually found what I thought I wasn't going to find. It's my Star Wars hat. Ta-da! Anyways, I didn't know that they had to be on the counter, so I was gonna get the unmasked Kylo, which I still kinda want, but I can't really spend that much money. But they had like two or three left, and I got there like 20 minutes after the store opened. I got it! Now, I've never been a big Boba Fett collector, but I didn't, I never found the Walgreens exclusive Black Series one. Even when I worked there, I couldn't find it because my coworker might have bought it. And I don't really want to unbox this because, just to admit, this, this is awesome. But yeah, I picked this over $24.95 and it even says on the sticker, if you can see, Star Wars Day Edition. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got. And while I'm waiting in line at Disney Store, a nice cast member was going around and handing out free little goodie. They give out these BBA finger puppets. Got two. And then I got these awesome Disney Store cards with Chewie. And the Force Awakens logo on the back. It says thank you for supporting the resistance. And then it has some Orbesh writing. I wonder what it, I don't know what it says. I can, I can decode that later. And then the BBA one says the same thing. Thank you for reporting, supporting the resistance. <laughs> Not reporting. And there's the back of that one, same. And one of the more awesome things besides the Boba Fett toy, I think it was the first 50 customers who got to the store who made a purchase got this. They had three left when I went to go check out. Boba Fett exclusive pin. Now, like I said, I've never been a huge Boba Fett collector. More recently, I've collected, if you've seen on my channel, uh, Force Awakens merchandise, but I mean, this is awesome. I have a GameStop just a couple minutes from my house, so I had to stop on the way home and I got one for my sister, but this Poe Dameron variant Marvel comic it was only $4.99 and it's GameStop exclusive. So there's that. And like you saw, I went into the Lego store. I didn't get the first order Stormtrooper Lego because he had to spend $50 or more and that's way over my budget. Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed this May the 4th video. Um, if everything goes according to plan, I'm going to be doing a Revenge of the 5th video. My uh, sisters and I are having a Star Wars party tonight for May the 4th. We're going to be watching Force Awakens. We're having Jakku chicken and nachos. We're having Coruscant cookies. We're having uh, raised bread, which is French bread. And we're making blue milk milkshakes. So I'll try to film as much as I can. I'm going to try to make dark side cookies too. If you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments below how you celebrated May the 4th. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you soon.